What up everyone, happy Tuesday. Just got out of work, just gonna share my post-match thoughts of my super match with Luis Alarcón. Uh, man, tough, tough match. Dude's a freaking brick wall. Literally, his setup is freaking super strong. His hand, wrist, arm, shoulder press, everything is uh, real, real strong. Um, but man, I can put my money that Luis Alarcón right now can go anywhere in the US or in North America and you know get first or second place um basically top 10 in the nation at either 200 or 220 probably even top five for sure um he's he's freaking amazing and i'm not just saying that because i think that you know i'm you know i'm, I'm good or, or or oh he beat me he must be the best like no i'm serious guys if you guys don't know who luis alarcon is he'll literally take out like just about anybody in the nation. He he went to that round robin in Tennessee um, with Larry Jenkins, and uh, he almost beat Artem outside the strap, and uh, he beat Eduardo Tiete, and he had some pretty good matches with those guys, um, but he's way better right now. So he went in weighing 220 um, for this match. Uh, he's usually a 198 guy, um, but man, right now he is freaking tip top shape. Um, all, I mean, I got him outside the strap round one. I felt like I had him, and that's why I told him, I took your hand. I took your hand. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I took that hand. I took that hand. So on that round one, I was just able to get right on top just slightly, and uh, he had to bail. And in the strap, it slowed everything down. And uh, he turned me inside. He was able to wrist curl me and, you know, drive sideways. Let's go. And I stopped it a little bit, but I was already too separated um, to really come back from that position. And he just surged again and he got the pin. And so my right arm, you know, I know it doesn't have a big gas tank. It usually gases out right away because of so many previous injuries that I've accumulated on my right. Um, so I was like, fuck it, let's just go straight to the strap. And that was a mistake, definitely a mistake. Um, the buckle was on my side, I knew that, but like I said, I didn't wanna waste energy um, when I knew we were gonna slip. Uh, but man, it, I looked at the video and it seemed like I didn't even freaking try or like I didn't, had nothing for him that round two. Let's go! Ah! So round three, I try to get way more technical, you know, take him to the ref grip outside the strap. Um, you know, he's squeezing the hell out of my hand in the ref grip, posting pretty dang hard, peg decking like super tough. No adjustments. He, he back pressures though. You're in he a back rest pressures. Grip. Okay, I'm still. That's one foul. You're in a ref grip. What, what did I do? One foul. He's he's he, he's back pressuring. He's posting. I don't feel any pressure, and I have my other hand on his on his okay. wrist while I'm applying the strap. Got it. Yeah. Okay, he's in a ref grip. Shoulders from you, Freddie. Thumbs down. I closed Freddie's hand last time first. This time I'll close your hand first. Cap, cap or no cap? I'm gonna close your hand first. Cap. He's back pressing big time. He's pushing. He's back. You're pushing. No, push. I didn't push. I felt you no, push I didn't. I, he squeezed and I like went this way. Your hand. No, 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 no. Winner. Come on, Reza. Come on, Reza. No. Probably not the best call. But also, it's my fault for not keeping my elbow on the on the pad during a ref grip. So I completely understand the call. I lost on fouls that round three, so lost zero to three on that right hand. And so now we go left hand, and I thought I had a serious chance left hand. Um, my hand and wrist have never quite been there on my left, but I have a real strong, you know, shoulder press, kind of like a hook. And um, man, Luis surprised me outside outside the strap. He took my hand. Of course, I had to slip underneath. Ready, go. Um, we went into the strap and he, he timed it perfect and he kind of just hit right into the spot where I don't like and you know he beat me and I said uh oh no. now I'm in trouble <laughs> now I'm in trouble I can't even stop him lefty and so round two basically same thing I try to press um, I slip a little bit different ready go <laughs> Uh, but he got me. He got me again round two. Ready, go! Uh, so round three, I'm like, I got a post. And so I'll set the strap by post and I stop him. Ready, go! 
Freddy with a bite. He's got something there. And we slip, and then I'm like, well, I, I got to keep him outside his cup. So I post again, and I get to stop. I get to stop, and then this is when I'm able to get inside, get my shoulder in there, and we have a war. I don't know how long it was, but probably like a minute war. We're going back and forth, and I'm feeling his elbow tear. Like, I am literally feeling his elbow go, tut, 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 and I'm like, oh, shit, like, I have him. Like, all right. So and then I get desperate, and I start pushing to the pad to try to get that win, thinking he's damaged. He rises up on me and my elbow pops. And I'm like, oh shit, like now my elbow's done. And I try to get tight and he finishes it with the press. And there you go, man. Lock. It's here for these guys. <laughs> lost the zero to three on the left hand too um but man what a great fight i really trained hard for this one i showed up you know tip top shape no excuses just luis showed up amazing and like i said anybody wants to pull luis right now he's a mother effing beast right now i think he's gonna go to top eight in mexico to compete with mexico's best i really am excited to see how he does there um but hey an el paso tournament keeps going up the El Paso tournaments every single year are getting better, guys. Um, this time we had a bunch of entries, cash payouts to every single weight class, even the ladies. So, guys, next year, make it a point to come here. Mark Bettis, you are the man. Keep it up. You're doing a phenomenal job here. But, hey, man, um, uh, you know, what really upsets me the most right now is my left being damaged. So, hopefully my left can come back from this and, um, and, and, and I can keep pulling. But uh, for, for now, just going to be pulling right hand. I'm still going to Nebraska July 13th. I got my tickets. I'm ready to go. Um, I'm going to pull Easton McCormick right handed. Hopefully, hopefully I can bounce back from this loss. Um, kids a freaking beast, though. So, I mean, I got to be prepared to take the loss. Um, same way I'm prepared to take the win. Um, but, hey, that's the sport. That's the sport of arm wrestling. Uh, you got to nut up. Or shut up um, and uh, just have fun with it man that's that's my thing right now um, I really just love to have fun in the sport and uh, keep enjoying keep enjoying competing um, well anyways guys keep it up keep your training up um, keep loving the sport and have a great rest of your week Luis Alarcón felicidades wey eres un perrote alright guys